Hey YouTube, you may have heard about Red Hat's OpenShift container platform. Developers think of it as a Kubernetes app dev platform, and chief security offices might consider it the most secure Kubernetes platform. Telco engineers think of it as a cloud native platform to host 5G workloads. But what about sysadmins who manage virtualized workloads? They might be surprised to learn that OpenShift can run virtual machines as well as containers. So which features do these sysadmins typically use? Well, for starters, they'll need to run both Linux and Windows-based VMs, and they'll typically provision these VMs from templates. They'll take snapshots of them and restore them from snapshots, and they'll need to access them remotely and securely. So wouldn't it be cool if I could show all of that on OpenShift today? Well, that's what we're gonna do for you on a single, homegrown server. So let's begin by creating a virtual machine from the OpenShift console or GUI. As you can see, a catalog is provided with many operating systems to choose from. So let's check out the list of templates Red Hat supplies. We supply templates for RHEL, CentOS, Fedora, and Windows and you can easily modify them and create your own for virtual network appliances. Let's go ahead and start an instance of RHEL 9. So I'm going to simplify the password for this demonstration and set it to start right away after I create it. Okay, once it's initialized, we can log in via the console tab. This should only take a moment. Okay, it's up and running. We can switch to the console tab. And as you can see from the output of uname minus A, we can see we're running the 514 kernel version. And we can confirm that we're running RHEL 9 by reviewing the Red Hat release file. Uh, next, we can see that we have a masquerade interface set up by default and we have access to the outside world by pinging Google. Okay, let's launch a VM from the CLI. Uh, let's start by running OC get nodes and as you can see, we have a single node OpenShift cluster. And I'm logged in as the cube admin. Now let's go ahead and create a RHEL 9 VM from a template. Okay, now let's go ahead and start it. Okay, now let's go ahead and display information about the VM. Okay, now let's connect to the console and log in via the CLI. So again, we can confirm we're running RHEL 9 as we did earlier. Now 
So now let's go over virtual machine snapshots and restoring them. So let's go back to the OpenShift console and log into the VM. So now let's add a file called myfile.txt and add some content to that file. Excellent. So now let's take a snapshot of the VM. Let's add to the description that we added that file. Click on save. Okay, and it succeeded. So now let's go back to the VM, log back in, and now let's pretend that we accidentally deleted that file. So we're going to go ahead and remove the file. Let's just prove that it's not there anymore. Okay. So now let's go over to the virtual machine and let's go ahead and stop the VM. So now let's go to the snapshot and let's restore the snapshot. Okay, it's all ready to go. Now let's go over to the virtual machine and start it back up again. Okay, let's go ahead and log back in. And as we expected, uh, the file that we created and then we deleted has now miraculously appeared. And the content is what we expect. So the restore has worked. So that concludes this demo. Thanks so much for watching.